we're looking at the Mirai Toyota fuel cell car, M-I-R-A-I, which in Japanese, Mirai means future or future think. Um, this is one of few fuel cell cars on the East Coast. Um, they do have them more on the West Coast. I understand is Toyota is leasing them on the West Coast. The issue is the availability of hydrogen, because the fundamental fuel is hydrogen, a fuel cell has two fundamental component parts. You have oxygen and uh, hydrogen on two different sides, and there is a, uh, a, a barrier between them of a particular type of material that between the two of them, where they actually touch each other, you get an electric charge, and that charge runs the electric motor that's in the front of the, front of the, uh, the car. So in a sense, like a Tesla or a Volt, this is really an electric car, but the fuel source is hydrogen. And the best part about it is you only have water as an emission out your tailpipe. So this is something that when we talk about renewable fuels, and at ESI we spend a great deal of time trying to find solutions to um, very, very difficult problems. We're excited that uh, Toyota and the uh, Fuel Cell and Hydrogen Association made this car available. We drive around this, this weekend, and all I can tell you is a very sweet ride. It's, it's powerful when it needs to be. It's quiet superbly comfortable and even in climate weather. All the safety fit features work beautifully and uh, all I can tell you is I'm hoping that Toyota spends more time and money to bring this to the market in a real way. Fuel cell is actually further back. This is the electric motor. All right. The fuel cell is back under the driver's front front seats and, and the lithium ion is, is uh, vertically behind the, uh, the uh, rear seats. Other than that, it looks fairly traditional. You've got your, your coolant, you know, you've got an awful lot of wiring, hoses, etc.